Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our Survivor 45, Episode 5, Reaction and Review. Who wants a sandwich? I want a sandwich. I, I gotta say. I want a sandwich. I've never, <laughs> I've never related to Austin that much because he seems much more athletic than me. But, you know, I... I wanted that sandwich too. Usually Survivor food does not look very good. Like they'll bring out that pizza at the award and it's like, that thing looks cold, but that sandwich actually looked pretty good. Yeah, that's interesting. I felt the opposite. I thought that was like one of those sandwiches that you get at Vaughn's if you're down here in the States or Loblaws if you're up in Canada <laughs> where it's just like they've just taken like a big like loaf and cut it in half and threw some cheese tomato and some like sandwich meat and threw it there i was just like those sandwiches don't look appetizing but if i'm starving you know i'll eat a sandwich I'm, that looks like that i'm a sandwich man what can i say i i was all i was all about that sandwich i would actually i would do what austin wanted to do there but for a, a number of different reasons i mm -hmm. think this is an episode above many others where we can actually have some healthy debate here, some healthy mm -hmm. debate with you guys in the comments. Mm -hmm. This is not like a good 50% of the rest of the season where we have just come on here and just belly ached about some people quitting for some random reason for a game they wanted to play for an unforeseeable amount of time. Yeah. So, Drew, Brando, yeah. you guys let us know in the comments which way would you have gone? Yeah, and we're going to get all into it because there, there are so many different variables. And Emily, of course, you are going to be the vessel for <laughs> all of us to have this discussion because you were stuck in the center of it. But of course, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more Survivor coverage mm -hmm. coming up. It really helps us here at the channel if you do subscribe. But make sure that you don't miss as well any of the other reviews that we have coming up for the rest of this season. And we're not even at the merge yet. Like there's a lot still to happen. Yeah. Right. And who knows that's 2000 more twists for Jeff Probst <laughs> to bring into the game. I know the minute that they were all like, who wants to go on a journey to advantage Island? <laughs> it's always something. Uh, okay. I will, I will start by saying this because I've already flip flopped on this once. Like I will admit this since mm -hmm. the episode ended like five minutes ago. At first, I was like, you know what? I would want to get rid of Drew. But now I'm like, you know what? I would have kept Drew. And here's here's the reason why I would keep Drew. It's not because I want to go to the end with Drew. I just think that Drew and Austin are so obvious a duo that they are going to be out there on Front Street like all of the time. I think Brando is a little sneaky sneaky in that thing he tried to pull on Drew in this episode where he just throws out a crazy idea. And then Drew is like, that idea is really crazy. And everyone else thinks that Drew came up with it because it makes no sense for Brando to do it. Like, that was low-key kind of brilliant. I'm sad it didn't work. Yeah, no, it was really brilliant. But it it felt like a lot of things had to fit right into place for yeah. that to actually come together and work like he had to really hope that people weren't talking to each other as honestly as they were yeah it was it was a big swing for brando to try it and i i really appreciate that he did i think it from what we saw last week it already seemed like emily was leaning more towards drew and mm -hmm. austin anyway yeah. so it would have taken a lot to get her to sort of move away from that it seems like she definitely thought about it but i just i just think that after the merge austin and drew are probably going to either be voted out or targeted pretty soon for either competition reasons yeah. or you know drew just wanders around with i am a survivor fan and strategist written on a metaphorical shirt here yeah and the thing is is emily's been a tribal a bunch of times she has been on the bottom for a lot of this season already that to then be you know, put together with Austin and Drew who are sharing that they, you know, they have this advantage or whatever is going on there that she's able to be like, okay, I can trust them. They're coming to me about yep. it right away. Like Austin lied to everybody and then pulled Drew aside and was like, hey, it's actually this. Should I tell Emily? Is everything still okay with her? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Emily, this is what's going on. It made her feel like she's really part of something. So if I was Emily, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, I can be with these two guys where, you know, I know about 
this advantage. They're being honest with me. They're being like right away. Hey, this is what's going on. Like I'm really part of something and they feel like they're two, you know, strong guys, smart guys, guys that mm -hmm. together can get me further into the game that once you get to merge, then she can figure out what she wants to do. Yeah. I, I think that's, that's the big thing about this. If, I thought that Emily was just going to go to the final three with these guys. I don't. Yeah, I would. I don't either. But if I did, I would be like, Emily, this is a terrible move. You shouldn't do this. These guys are clearly going to take each other. But she is so analytical. And while her at times cold emotional state may not be good for her within the game, it's good when it comes to decisions as to who to vote out. She's not going to think emotionally. She's going to think logically. And at some point... She's going to get around to, okay, I need to split these two dudes up. And hopefully she will be able to do it in a way where they won't see it coming. Yeah, for sure. Or she can, yeah, do it in a way where she can kind of get other people to maybe split them up. Or she could be like, eh, it wasn't me. Are you glad that we said goodbye to the goodwill advantage, which honestly I had already forgotten was a part of the game? There's so many advantages and like Austin and Drew have all of them. It's just, it's so weird. I know. I, okay. I, I was For him being there at the end to be like, I want to extend this idol. So, you know, I'm doing this, but let me pull up this next <laughs> one. I was just like, oh man. And this one will negate this. And then here's this next one. He didn't do that. But I was just like, well, why not? Right. I just wanted, for the sake of the entertainment, for Drew to also play. I don't remember what season it was. It might have been. It might have been Winners at War, where we coined this the "peace out" advantage when you just <laughs> peace out on tribal council. And I don't know. I'm just fine to just get a lot of this stuff out there, get it out of the game, so that we don't have to think about it. But no, the the peace out advantage is still in play. Austin now has the idol a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I will say this. I was very worried at a certain point, especially with what Brando was pitching to Drew, that we were going to lose Kendra. I have my my the big winner of this episode is Kendra in the confessionals. No, the big winner of this episode is the worm that she didn't end up eating, who actually gets to live another day. Like, stop. I'm not saying that, you know, Kendra is my favorite person. <laughs> Kendra's is just the most unbelievably extra. Why? What? Number one, why are you doing this with the worm in the first place? You know you're not gonna like it, so just stop it there. Number two, why are you like making hissing noises in the confessional? At one point, she just like screamed in there, and I was like, everybody's gonna be able to hear you, right? Are you on a separate island? Like she is completely out of her mind. Where was this Kendra in like the past few episodes? <laughs> she said something in this episode that made me think of you. I was just, it was so what? funny where she was just like, I'm a Libra. I flip flop back and okay, forth. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I said something at one point. It's it like, welcome to Matt's Libra corner. Well, I'll be over here crying to myself. <laughs> like, right. okay, listen, we, we emotional wishy-washy <laughs> Libra people. We all, we all got to stick together. Kendra, I, I want to believe in you, but I think you are you are slowly going to lose it. And I think by the end of this season, you're going to go like full coach. You're going to have a weird nicknames for people. You're going to be walking around with a walking stick. You are slowly on the decline to craziness, but you are very good TV. And no offense to Brando. You seem like a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to listen to you and Drew talk about Pokemon Go for the rest of Emily's face. No. When they were talking about Pokemon Go and she was just sitting there. Yes. She, she looked like she was just like, somebody please take me on a journey right now. Yes. This was the first time that I really related to Emily. Where I was just like, I got you. I'll come get you out of this. I felt so bad for her. And, you know, I... I was into Pokemon when the games first came out a long, long time ago. Like, I'm not trying to dog on Pokemon all the time here. It's just like, you don't want to be anywhere where there are two people who are clearly really into something that you don't know anything about. And you're just stuck there listening to them talk about it for hours upon hours on end. It would drive me insane. Okay, let's talk about these amulets and how we ended up getting here. Because I have to say... <laughs> <laughs> when Jay was actually able to be like, oh, I get to pick the other people that are going or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to pick Austin. Oh, why are you picking Austin? Because he's going to give me information. I was just like, whoa, what is happening? Like, listen, I 
I really wanted to like Jay a lot, like yeah. a lot. There was just b before the season and get starting in the yeah. season, I was like, you know, I think that she could be my person. I no, this was such <laughs> a crazy move. And then on top of it with the, the other move where she's going to be like, I'm just going to say to Sifu because he's not stopping with the who rate, wrote my name down. It's just like, oh, stop it. Like, <laughs> stop, stop. Other people are going to write your name down. He yes. makes this like fake idol and Jay comes up with this plan. I'm going to go and just tell him I did it. I'm on the bottom and I did it. And that way he won't use his idol and, you know, we can all vote him out. And I was just like, why didn't anybody ask to see the paper that came with the idol? Like if I'm on Survivor, like <laughs> I know that they have had other seasons where it was like, oh, you get a fake one, you get a real one, you get, so you may have a paper, but you don't have, you know, whatever. But I want to see a paper with it. You can't just hold up some seashells and some rope and be like, look at what I have. Well, what do you have? Where's the paper that goes with it that tells me that this is a real thing? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, cool. Then what you have is just a rope. Okay. This is a couple of great things to unpack in here. Number one. Seafood, I'm sorry, that was a bad fake idol. It did not it did not look like a real idol at all. You you tried. It's not the worst fake idol we've ever seen on Survivor. It's not even close. It's not that great. I don't know how many people would buy it. Also, Jay, is it time we bring the clown car out of retirement here? A hundred percent. Like it, she <laughs> she just is really not self-aware that yeah. she really is sort of on the bottom because then you have everyone else being like we could just get rid of Jay. Like, yes. she's putting herself out there. She's admitting to this thing. Like, why, why not at this point? Yeah, the whole... But that to me, I was just like, well, if you think that Sifu has an idol, uh, then he has to, it has to be flushed. It absolutely yeah. has to be flushed. That's the part of it I understand. You always want to flush out an idol in Survivor. Like, that part of it makes sense. And I, I can be forgiving of some things. Listen, I'm a very forgiving person, guys. I can forgive Jay making some questionable decisions back at her own tribe. But when you are in front of everybody, oh my you've God. got – this is – just like we spent a good five minutes railing on Emily in the premiere for this with Bruce. It's just like, you cannot go there and say something that is so obviously bad for your game and bad for Austin's game. Austin's face when she is saying this about, oh, this could help. He's just like, no, no, don't say that. Yeah. When, yeah. I can't even believe that she just straight up said that. Oh, well, he could give me information where he's just stuck there being like, I have not said that I was going to yeah. give you information. We've had no conversation like this, but now you've put it out there. So that means that it could have the rest of a tribe being like, hmm, now maybe Austin is going to go and give that information. She said that with confidence. Yes, it is so bad. It is so unbelievably Bad. I was really surprised that there wasn't more fallout from that, to be honest, yep. with the way that how confidently she said that it was just like, I would have been worried as someone who's not Austin on his tribe to be like, this is a problem. I'm kind of happy that she's put a bigger target on herself, to be to be honest, because I kind of like Sifu. Like, Sifu's a little bit weird. He's quoting Tai Chi all the time. But you know what? He's a character. And I, I like Survivor characters. I'm not I'm not ready to lose Sifu yet. I want to see him like quote some weird Tai Chi a couple more episodes. And then at that point, maybe he can go. I don't want to see him moaning about his name being written <laughs> down anymore. You're playing survivor. Your name is going to get written down. You move on from it. And it isn't, you don't need to like rail on everybody and like say all these different quotes to try to push <laughs> people into telling you whatever, like just, let it go. Like, you can figure it out later. Sifu's bad at the game, too. See, Sifu and Jay yes. are going to have a competition on that tribe as to who is worse at Survivor. Okay. It's Jay. Yeah, it probably it is Jay. Now, Jay, she does have a part of this amulet advantage now. Oh, my goodness. Where... Okay, this is the one of the first advantages yeah. that I actually really like because it okay. feels like... <laughs> a knife fight is coming. Like it's really put together in a way yeah. that these three, like when she's like, Oh, Alliance. I'm like, Oh no, this is not an Alliance. This is, you guys are all going to have a knife fight yeah. to get everybody else out to turn this into the part of the advantage that matters, which is an idol. 
Austin is 100% correct. If I am in this situation, I am not touching that thing with a 12-foot pole. I do not want a single thing in the game that is going to put a larger target on me. And just, once again, Jay here, I think it's not seeing the bigger picture. I think she's playing Survivor. She's excited about the opportunity to potentially have a little bit of power. And so she's just like, yeah, I'll be really gung-ho about this. Why not? And, you know, Austin eventually just gives in on it. And Kelly just doesn't want to have to make a decision at all. It's you're, it's just you're right. They're, they're going to knife fight each other at some point. Like, they're all not going to stay around for a long time. And this... This is going to be cursed. Like, at a certain point, we're going to see Survivor where nobody wants to do this unless they are in, like, complete absolute peril. A absolutely. <laughs> I mean, if I'm playing Survivor, and I would never play Survivor, this is not the game for me. But if I'm playing Survivor, I'm not taking the sandwich. And not just because I have celiac disease and that sandwich would kill me. Yeah. I, If I have a chance to have an advantage i'm always going to take the advantage like there's no reason not to do it and you see so many times that advantages do can and can come into play and if it's like okay i'm here with these you know two other people and once this one goes and this one goes i have an idol that's only two people i gotta get rid of get that idol so i'm going for it you can have it. I want to. I'll eat the sandwich. Uh, but I understand why Austin doesn't want more advantages because he has a lie. Doesn't want a yeah. bigger target. But they don't know that. So no. you know, they're just they're 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 just eager. They want they they're thinking along the lines. They want some power in the game. I'm thinking if somebody goes up there and they're like, I want the sandwich, then I think they already have an idol, and I That's don't know point. why neither of them were wondering that because everybody's hungry but you're yeah. all also hungry for uh, the prize money so you're gonna eat a sandwich now and give up an advantage i would think that he's either sitting on an advantage but i would really think he's sitting on an idol he's just like i don't i don't need this i would i'll take a sandwich it's really funny that these these are 90 minute episodes now and yet still we've already had in this video multiple instances of things where we're just sort of like couldn't have we seen a little bit more footage of that because I I think you, that's a really good point that they might think he has an idol already but they didn't show us that it's like there's another thing in this episode that I'm I feel 100% confident happened on the show and we didn't see it and mm -hmm. that is Jake visiting medical because this is the second time he has passed out on now he's on Lulu we're gonna have a little bit of a Lulu discussion here now mm -hmm. guys and he, I, I feel really bad for him. I, I thought I really liked his story that we found out about in this episode about, well, the weight loss he's done, how Ooh. he's feeling better about himself. And to be out there and competing in challenges and that's going fine and then just passing out randomly at camp, I am 100% sure Medical has taken a look at him, been like, he's okay to continue. I was really worried, though, that this episode was going to end with Medical being like, okay, Jake, you can't play the game anymore. This whole episode has been drawn out, and Jake's just gone, and then that's it. I feel 100% the way that he was talking, that he had already seen Medical mm -hmm. in his confessional. He was wording things in a way where it was almost like he... Had, he had passed out, he saw medical, and they were talking about maybe taking him out, and then he was on the other side of it. And that's where it sounded like he was talking. Like, it was like, oh, man, and, you know, like, kind of, it was touch and go. I didn't know what was going to happen, but I'm here kind of thing. I really want this tribe to go to tribal council now, because the dynamics at Lulu are so interesting. You've got <laughs> Jake, who's had some real issues out there, and you have yeah. to be worried about that on a human level. Yes. Then you have Katara, who's just, like, getting caught looking for idols by basically everybody you have bruce as we get into bruce's block here bruce is brucing it up all over the place i don't know that i want to get into bruce's block in this episode. Are, you, are you departing bruce's block is it vacant now no it is not vacant i'm still in i'm still in bruce's block okay but <laughs> I mean, it was it wasn't all comfortable. The whole situation was some of the things that were going on, especially with like the the talks with Jake when he was lying down, and some of the things that were being said, and some of the way that I, I don't know. There was it just didn't feel exactly the same, and the way that he was talking to Caleb, who you know I also really like. I like both these men a lot. Yep. Um, that it was just kind of weird where we had to even have Caleb be kind of like, 
yeah, no problem. I'll bend the knee for a little while and, and make it work out the way that needs mm -hmm. to work out until I don't have to. But it's kind of like, well, you shouldn't have to bend the knee to anybody. And Bruce hadn't been really, uh, from what I've seen, <laughs> I didn't interpret it that he had been playing that way anyway. So I was just kind of like, well, why is he all of a sudden now? And it may just be time. Time has passed and it's yeah. hard to be like, hey, <laughs> jokes, 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 right? I think Bruce's thing is, I think he's probably a good hearted guy who just doesn't. Yes. He doesn't have so. a lot of great social awareness from what I'm sort of seeing here, where he doesn't, he's not great at interpreting how other people are interpreting him because it took him until we had like that direct moment with Katara last week for him to be like, oh, she has a problem with me. I think he's just, he doesn't pick up on things super well when it comes to his behavior. That doesn't mean that I, he's going to be in trouble right away. You know, like you said with Caleb, Caleb's, bending the knee for now and i don't think that caleb would vote bruce out just because bruce is a little bit bossy at camp i think caleb's gonna play more strategically than that i you know i i have to find a good name for caleb here and my and my support of caleb because i i could say caleb's corner but i feel like i've done that bit too many times That's already all right it still works listen i still really like bruce i think that bruce is is a balanced guy like everybody we all have our moments mm -hmm. that are kind of crappy and then we all have our moments that are good and i think that survivors a really hard game and i think yeah. that you can get into these moments especially if you're trying to get things done at camp and you're mm -hmm. whatever whatever so you know i'll give them a pass i am going to give all of my metaphorical flowers to caleb right now who i think is playing one of the best games on the show i i feel very good about where Caleb is at right at the moment. He's making bonds with the right people. He's not annoying anybody. He still has Emily. He can rely on her down the road. He was careful about who he told about Sabaya's idol. Like that was so smart. Like he is he easily could win this game. He yeah. really could. I feel very, very good about him and in general. I feel much better about Survivor 45 at the moment. Yes, there are still way too many advantages. That yeah, is true. But they we're at episode <laughs> five and there's also two quitters. You know, like there are too many advantages. There's too many quitters. Yeah. I'll be feeling even better going into the next episode as long as everybody doesn't <laughs> quit there. But I mean, yeah, no, I'm I'm feeling I've had such a journey already. We're only five <laughs> episodes in where I've been like, you know, so mad at Emily, you know, starting to go back up. Oh, another quitter. Like it's been a journey this season already. I'm still yeah. not sure if I'm like, man, I really like this season. Season where I'm like, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I just I feel like I'm a Libra. Welcome, welcome. Me, me, I'm on this side of the fence. I'm on this side of the fence. I don't know. Me, me and Kendra welcome yeah. you to Libra land with open arms. And I just, I just want this season to be as messy as possible. Can we just have Kendra stay in the game a while? Sifu, after every tribal council, needs to run around to go on the interrogation. We, I just want the wacky people to be around a while. That is all. Okay. Well, hit that subscribe button, guys, so you don't miss any other Survivor 45 coverage. We really appreciate it, and we also appreciate our patrons so much for their support. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank we'll you. see you next time.